Okay, guys, the next topic I want to get into, it's really PlayStation versus Xbox. And it really is PlayStation versus Xbox. <laughs> like, uh, you know, they, they seem to be going at, at it. So let's, let's just roll into some of the, uh, the details. So uh, right now, Xbox's acquisition of Activision seems to be a bit in the quagmire, if I'm being honest. So the FTC, CMA and EU are basically looking at this deal. I think the FTC have threatened to sue. Yeah, mm. so people are putting the blockers on this. Xbox also, let's be honest, they've had a year of no games, of nothing noteworthy. So not good, not good. Payment. And, <laughs> <laughs> and they're also now gently nudging towards the price hike. And I will say one thing. Is it a price hike just for hardware? Was it a price hike also for Game Pass? <laughs> the Game Pass thing was always going to happen, right? Everyone knows it. It's yep. too cheap. It's way yep. too cheap. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now, PlayStation, so what can we say about them? True to form, they say nothing. Yeah. However, have they been actually quite shrewd in dealing with with this Activision acquisition. And I might also add, they don't seem to care about anything else <laughs> but COD. You know, like, they don't care about anything else. Bethesda, yeah. Bethesda, yeah. You know, yeah. Starfield, mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, let's say Blizzard, yeah. Diablo, hmm. Yeah, maybe. That's cool. Go ahead. COD. No effing way you're getting caught. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? No, not, at any, that, not at any cost. That microtransaction you know? money, you know, it's... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> so the... Okay, so the... I wouldn't take it as Sony are that bothered by COD. It's the narrative they can use to throw spanners in the works for Xbox to stop the also merger very happening. True. Yeah. I don't also think very really... true. Plus, they've already got their backup card, which is their strong buying out Bungie. That's also true. Very true. Yeah, it's, it, Bungie is still not as what's the right word? It, it, his games aren't as mass market as as COD. They don't have the brand yet. No, no, that's for sure. No. Yeah, but I wouldn't be surprised if Bungie, one of their because they're multiple projects, one of them is probably going to be a mass market COD. Not a COD, not a COD game, but like a a mass market type of game like COD to capture the masses, right? I wouldn't yeah. be surprised. So a Sony financed uh, Destiny TV show coming up, <laughs> probably with Henry Cavill in that as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gonna I, happen. <laughs> I, I can't, I can't, uh, I can't wait for. That. I hope it's an anime. <laughs> I hope it's an anime. That would be a good fit, to be honest. It, it would be the better fit, wouldn't it? Um, Let's let, let's put some bets down. Like if you, what, in, in in twelve in twelve months time, what do you what do you guys predict? What position we'll be at in terms of this battle off in the octagon? In twelve months time, hmm. Do you know what? I actually absolutely thought that this Activision deal would absolutely go through. It felt like it for a while because they weren't complaining. Yeah, and then suddenly everyone yeah. complained. I was like what you've had a long time to think about it yeah well that's what regulators are like <laughs> <laughs> so uh, i actually i don't know I'm, i shouldn't be saying i'm surprised because look, it's a massive deal for one thing 69 billion dollars is the biggest deal in this industry and it's a big deal out 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 of the industry forget about just gaming yeah and it's the other factor is microsoft yeah, you no matter what you say, are the, simply one of the most powerful companies in the world. So from that perspective, yeah, um, you know, I guess it, you know, this due diligence should be expected. But now we, you get, you're entering into a situation where you think, what if this deal doesn't happen, mm. right? And then, what if Xbox are true to form? And they basically don't produce any games. Yeah. 
And I just think in 12 months time, you know. This is the thing with people come off Game Pass very quickly as well. So if it goes the wrong way, it goes the wrong way fast. <laughs> yeah. You know, the, the reason to get someone like Activision on board is to have a kind of hook to keep people on Game Pass, I guess. I mean, that's one way to look at it. And when you, you kind of think of it like that, you kind of wonder, yeah, is it is it the cash cow that people think it is? You know what I mean? Because obviously you get the numbers where, you know, you, you get the gross, you don't get the net, if you know what I mean, you, when they talk about some of these numbers. So it's just, it's an interesting one. But if Activision doesn't happen, right, then I think in 12 months' time, Xbox is going to be, they're probably going to be second for a while. Mm. Let's put it that way. However, this is the however part. If they can't spend that $69 billion dollars on Activision. What are they going to do with some of that money? Are they going to go on the offensive <laughs> elsewhere? You know, they start gobbling up other kind of making other ap- small acquisitions. They could also do that. Mm. Yeah. I just I just think anything they do from this point onwards, it's just going to be about feeding Game Pass. I, I, yeah. I actually have a slightly different view that I think they're already screwed because they're already unable to manage the the game series that they have for whatever reason giving too much control to the game studios or having too much control themselves and interfering and meddling i don't know where it is i just think them uh, if the activision deal goes through that they are have they're gonna have too many game studios and they can't handle that and if they don't activision doesn't the deal doesn't go through then it's going to be such a hit on their reputation. Plus also, if it doesn't go through the Activision, I don't think the games are going to hit next year. <laughs> mm. I mean, Redfall is... I think that's going to be a middling game at best, yeah, isn't it? exactly. I mean, come on. And Starfield it... looks like it's going to be a buggy mess. We've yeah. seen this, this story with Cyberpunk. It doesn't even look good, that good from the trailers. <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> that's it, it, the it problem. Looks... I can imagine it is it's, it's, it is a good game in terms of depth and ideas, but I just think it's it, the, the game engine they're using looks dated. <laughs> yeah, it, it's true. Uh, I don't. I, I mean, think they're in a. I think they're in a right mess. I think, and and, and the other some of the other studios are, are so early in development. What their stuff they're working on. They use some of them are using Unreal Engine Five. That's still early. I just, I just think that, I think it's more hot air in in Microsoft camp than we even realise. Mm. I tell you, twenty twenty two has been the year of everything blowing up in in, in our faces. Whether it's the economy, fake news about <laughs> startups, fake news about the, the the Teslas, fake news in crypto. It's fake news in gaming. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fake news in politics. It really is. Fake news everywhere, and it's just a. It's stuck. The house of cards is kind of full. And, and yeah, it's mood, starting. To, it does feel it's starting I to really collapse. I really think in twelve months' time we'll be looking back at this. Say, God, they effed it up even more in twenty twenty three. That's why I. Uh, my. But how is. could they turn it around, though? I mean, so so I reckon there's an interesting one now, especially with the the yeah, you because know, as you mentioned, uh, Jay, around the the economy and 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 things kind of going south. I I think actually if Xbox and the Activision deal doesn't go through, I think that works really well for Microsoft. That money, that sixty nine million, is similar to Elon Musk like over overpaying for Twitter. It, it it's another one that actually, if you were to now do a price valuation against the the purchase of Activision, it's no, it's probably not worth that. <laughs> it's probably, yeah, that's, that's true. That's an <laughs> interesting perspective. Yeah, but I, I but what, what what I was saying was even if it doesn't go through. Mm. They're not strong enough in what they're already handling. Mm. So they they need it. They need it because of content. Mm, mm. They they need to feed Game Pass. And the other thing is, if it doesn't go through, they actually have a penalty in, in the contract of three billion. Mm. So they have to shell that out. Yeah. So it's not going to be a, uh, any kind of you know free I don't lunch. Know, they're probably saving a good third. So <laughs> yeah, they, they are. I mean, they, look, they are a, a trillion dollar mm. company. If for God's sake, I mean, let's yeah, not forget yeah. that. Let's not. It's, as Al said, the deal, if it doesn't go through with the whole recession happening, it's probably worth, worth more than 
then but, they'll lose yeah, the yeah, yeah. three billion. And then the question is, is what do they do with it? Because they do need to do something. Because I think, like both of you are saying, that they're, they're in they're in a really bad they're really 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 bad shape. It's, it feels like this generation is lost for them. Um, you know, with, you with, said with that PlayStation, last year, you've, you know. yeah, with PlayStation Five and and the VR Two coming out and mm. the stuff that's being announced, I think I think they're in a really strong position. It's, 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 it's odd. Mm. It's very odd. Phil, Phil Spencer, almost kind of like Elon Musk, has been put. I think he's been overblown as this this black uh, Xbox god. <laughs> <laughs> that's because of what they had before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I have to say, I like the way he speaks. Yeah. Right. I like. But he's the media way he trained. Jay, he's media trained. Come yeah, on, but, but 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 I I I I've seen him in quite a few stuff in 2022. His tone has changed. The corporate answers, the standard bullshit of looking after the customer and and all that. You know, just the same crap you get from like banks and corporates from <laughs> yeah, the other yeah. industry he's become more like that because he's got he's got he's got no answers for the for the mess I, I i whereas before he was kind of like the he's a gamer he gets it he'll be asking the right questions he'll be playing the games in the studio i i think he's so removed from all that i think he's just the same as everybody else who's in a senior position it is so far removed from what the actual is, yeah it's like in the old agile space, right? Leaders being so far removed from the work on the ground, they're just steering a ship, but we're not knowing what's how it's being steered and yeah, who's doing absolute, the steering. Absolutely, absolutely. And and his role has changed as well. That's the other. That's the other thing. You know, like uh, I'm just thinking right now. Also, Xbox they had to kind of like uh, build up their reputation uh, after X. You know, the Xbox One. You know, as soon as that fell flat on its face, they went through a whole thing with I need we need to patch up our rep as a gaming, you know, company. You know, like uh, and they started you know, obviously they done done the um Xbox One X and you know you know, and they, they started like, Oh, we're for the for the gamers and they, they did they did all the back compatting kind of retro stuff and you know they did all of that. And they've been perpetually trying to kind of, you know, build their image up as, yeah, God, we, we're just gamers. <laughs> but at some point, you still got to bloody deliver some games, man. <laughs> where, are, where are they? <laughs> you know what I mean? Thanks for the goodwill. I hear you. But now you've got to deliver some games. You are ultimately Xbox. You, you your parent company is a trillion dollar company. I mean, before... Phil Spencer was at his position now. If you're having meetings with Phil Spencer, who was close to these teams and these projects, and and you and you, and you give him the funding every for the year or every six months or three months, however it works, right? You would you would go and say, right, I, I don't I don't want to see these 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 charts and roadmaps. Show me the show me the games. Show me the let, let me play it to walk me through what I, it's doing. <laughs> like these guys don't haven't been they've, doing that, have they? They've had a chance. They had a chance, right? And that was the Halo chance, and they failed. <sighs> yeah, uh, that's unfortunately the problem. Did you have basically ow, missed? Ow, ow, yeah. ow, 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 ow. I don't know if you guys are close to it because I've been I've been playing it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I've been going back when they've mm. been doing updates. I've been like watching the YouTube videos on it. Mm. I've, I've I've even gone and and, and played with the. Uh, what's it called? Uh, what's the mode for um, making maps? What's it called? Oh, like uh, a map creator. Type Forge. Thing. Forge. Forge. Yeah, I've yeah. messed about mm, with that. Mm. They have royally fucked <laughs> up the, the. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> ev like everything, right? It's it's too late. It's that, dead. That's, that's Halo is one of my happiest dead. gaming memories. That was the chance. You know what I mean? Like, I have been watching this week because every now and again I'll just look at a couple of videos that come up on my feed of people who have been fans of Halo and creating videos for the last 10 years saying I've had enough of giving up now. Mm. I'm not buying into it's any more sad. OPM. I can't. They go, I, they, I, they've already released the roadmap for next year, mostly. It's nothing, pretty much. It's sad. It's pretty, it's, it, really, so, it really is sad. 
it, it's like the content creators and co- what am I going to talk about some maybe one or two cosmetics that are coming out in six months it, 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 it's done they've, they've, and, they've, and the TV program is just as rubbish oh, <laughs> I was yeah, going to ask about that I mean I mean seriously for one thing Master Chief takes off his helmet oh no oh no Oh no! What kind, of, what kind of bloody Halo television program is this? I, I, I heard about that, but they they, they did that in um, Mandalorian, didn't they? But they they didn't do it straight away. They did that, it for yeah, but that was right at the tail end of Mandalorian, yeah. and there was a there was a there was an emotional precedence for that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. there can't have been any precedence <laughs> for kind of like basically kind of monster thing. It was, and, and I heard he had sex on the TV program oh, as well. No. I, heard, I, heard, I, heard, I heard about that as well. Yeah, yeah. Master Chief basically gets gets it on yeah. <laughs> like Barry White. <laughs> I so instead of the instead of the, the instead of the Halo theme tune, right? You you hear Barry White in the background, you know, like and there he goes. Yeah, just coming back to what I was saying, Halo is done. That's their flagship. It's finished. I'll tell you that now. Three four three. So many senior people have been leaving and they've just left now who have been the kind of the last remnants of what was previously the bungee shell mm. <laughs> or people used to work out it, it is it is done that game is finished it's such a shame halo for me right i mean i just the memories i have of that game in you know the, yeah. the, the moments and in, in the the kind of soundtrack the soundtracks obviously it's it's the best soundtrack in gaming yeah, I, 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 Destiny. If you, you played guys, I, I think that my overall experience. I played a lot, all the most of the Halos, right, and I l- love them. Life changing. I've had a better life changing experiences with Destiny more so than I have with Halo. Mm. That's. I mean, I think. I think right now the state of Halo is to be expected. Yeah, and, and the character himself, Master Chief, is that type of. He's too dated as well. The thing is, like, um, you had the original trilogy, right? And then I think you had, um, I think you had Reach, and that was meant to be the last Bungie game. And then... ODST, yeah. Yeah, that was okay, but what happened after that, really? When Bungie left, it it was, it it just, it just fell off a cliff, yeah. Yeah, it was just for Halo, wasn't it, really? So here's, so so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw in a prediction. I reckon... Xbox, the Activision deal is going to fall over, and they're going to spend their money and go after EA. Yeah. If I'm if I'm being honest, they actually need basically publishers and companies who deliver annual games because that really fits more into the Game Pass mm. model than anything else. They don't, you know, they they could they can't really do anything with once in a while AAA games. Game Pass, they need a constant churn of content, yep. and that would work better. And that's why, I mean, in my mind, more and more, I kind of feel, don't go after the Game Pass model, mm. go after the Genshin model. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, but do that because that, to me, right, it seems a safer investment. Do you know what I mean? It does feel like a safer investment now. Do you, do you, do you, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know what I can't believe I, I didn't even call this out right or didn't pick up on it, but. Sony have always maintained it, maintained the narrative around their games. W- with Xbox, people just talk about Game Pass. They don't actually That's talk exactly about it. it. Mm. Don't even talk about the games. It's Game Pass. That's right. And and I, I remember kind of like at the start of this generation, and I remember obviously even back then there wasn't necessarily a very strong kind of launch kind of lineup for the Series X and S and I said well you know what you know we they don't need games you know they, you know game game pass is their triple a game you know that's that's why you own one yeah the trouble is keeping game pass going takes a big investment yeah you need constant content on it mm. and I, the more i think about this i think to myself how sustainable is that versus a live service game <laughs> where you have some i mean the genshin impact thing is case in point right or even Fortnite, you just have this one gaming platform, and all you do is just keep churning out content, mm. and it's mostly the same engine. Yeah, you just keep doing that, and it's not from you know Greenfield's development. 
you just have this game you, you just you just keep on adding content to it and the players just keep coming back so so th th this is the other thing right look how many and she's just as an example right because this is uh, probably probably an area that i'm probably more familiar with uh as well but let's take the the type of game but uh, destiny is and how many imitators have tried to copy that same first person shooter or third person games as a service it's really hard to keep building that content on a continuous rolling mm. wave it's 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 very challenging and and that's a lot of them have failed in that yeah but but i think that's because X of the the engine that's behind it and um, and and destiny should have seen the no, examples and games so i was gonna say, I, I, I think as much as the troubles uh bungie has had they still they still on the pvp uh, pve side mm. they've been fine mm -hmm. it's been top tier yeah it actually has been top tier throughout i have to say there have been a few bumps here and they've had a few quiet periods but it's been it's been pretty good over like the last 10 years pvp yeah they've just let, let it die for whatever reason mm -hmm. i'm saying that other companies that try to division and even halo infinite right to come in and, and have a continuous rolling wave of like dlcs or seasons is a is a difficult thing mm. for xbox to have that consistent game pass to survive in it, it, my understanding is there xbox was planning to change horizon no, no sorry um f f uh forza for example to rather than a release game which they part charge 70 quid they were going to create an engine for which they mm. would then up have an update every one or two years yep. yeah that justifies people carry on doing the game pass that's a fundamental shift in what the developers need to be how they build mm. what they build and i don't think that's another reason i don't think microsoft doesn't have the experience but that's what exactly do you need game pass for that that's just a okay, live service if you know what I mean, it's just kind of like mm. you can well, do so that about plonking on Game Pass. Yeah, but the, the, the game, the Game Pass, um, effectively, it, is a container for what you would. Yeah, but people yeah. pay for a subscri monthly subscription mm. it, for WoW. It's the same thing. Yeah, isn't it? but but they need to change them so that so it's kind of in the middle ground, right? So so I hear what what Joe is saying is it's the it's the fact that Game Pass. What if you're, it's a free to play game? What the hell are you getting, right? So so you need to you need to have like. <laughs> Uh, give them, give them a battle pass of this game, of this game, of this yeah, game. Of this yeah, game. yeah, yeah. needs to give them the in-game thing. The, 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 mm. That was happening. Those, those games I'm talking about aren't mm. free to play, are they? They have, they they like division. Yeah, yeah, but it uh, needs to change. Needs I think that's why they need it needs to change. If it's pure live service and free to play, then they need to change that. And it's all about battle passes, battle yeah, you know, cosmetics and and kind of additional yeah. things. That then yeah. gets you know if you've got a good core game and people are playing it and, are, and enjoying it and the media uh, and kind of additional collab and content in and around it, you build a massive ecosystem and you just get a fan base that's just crazy. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a little confusing as to you know actually I think where PlayStation Plus Premium is going to end up mm. and where Game Pass is going to end up, it it almost feels like it's. In many ways, it's too big of a beast to feed. If you know what I mean, and like, yeah. if you if you're basically in it for the money, and let's be honest, they all are. Mm. You're not here to change basically the world, are they? You, did, no. they? you know, they're here to kind of like extract whatever money they can get out of us. Mm. Well, they they're already saying, come like people are saying, investment analysts are saying that the the model of Netflix is actually broken. It doesn't work mm -hmm. over a longer period. So if that is the flagship in the TV and movie <laughs> know, space, it's it's broken, boring, isn't then, it? Like, then, then, and that's what the why the share price. Well, if you look at Netflix, you look, I love Netflix, but it's yeah, like, I love like, Netflix as well. But if you look at what they have to do, right? They have to generate content all the time. There's so much content on it to keep people interested, but that yeah. that it costs money. Mm. Exactly. You know but, what I mean? But, but here, okay, here's another curveball. Um, I don't know. If you guys have been looking at Chat GPT. I I I I I registered I and I was about to use it. I haven't used it, yet, but I've heard a little bit about it. Yeah, but there's a lot of so it's part of OpenAI uh, and yeah. the kind of groups that have been creating it. 
but they've kind of expanded now to um, essentially the, the sort of third or 3.5 version. And it's a very popular kind of chat interface to use an AI model that's behind it. And it's creating some very creative stuff, including coding, actually. So if you ask it to write something in a particular language and, and, and probably more like Python and other things, it can generate it for you. So there's a lot of people on content creators which are saying, Oh, I use chat GPT to create a, you know, a, it essentially use and write unity code to create a game. <laughs> That's an example. Yeah. So, and I think Microsoft are trying to buy it as part of their Bing search engine or something. So if mm. they, if they get that, they might be able to do something interesting, but may, I mean, it's for the search engine space and challenging Google, but you know, it, it, they could potentially use it for games. I, I don't see how that's going to help game pause. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very, very <laughs> long-winded, like you know. like games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Unless it, you can I, say, like, make me a good AAA game. <laughs> it won't be AAA. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 it's, its main competitive use case is, you know, when you go to Google and you just have that, you just type in... Yeah. Keyword searches, yeah. And, 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 and you're doing, like, a random search. It, it, can, it can give you a almost... Is if you paid someone to do, to do an hour or two yeah, hours yeah. worth of, of research to, and write a, sum, written, write a summary for you of, on any topic, it can do that <laughs> as well as do more creative, great stuff mm. like as Al, Al said around generate some code on a particular use case for either a game engine or or or, 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 or yeah or, or, or write some creative writing or something like that. I can tell you, if Microsoft purchased them. And then Xbox try to weave that into anything they're doing. It's done. <laughs> <laughs> if that themselves. happens, they're done. They've, they've, <laughs> killed, they've killed themselves in the inside, yeah. yeah. We know they're desperate. If you're going to do that, you're done. <laughs> Before we talk too much about the Xbox, I mean, let's, let's go back to PlayStation a little bit. And yeah. um, Obviously, we talked, touched upon them. But I'm solely more shrewd than I'm giving them credit for because for... For a while now, this year, especially this year, you looked at, you know, on Jin Ryan, and Jin Ryan's been at PlayStation for a long time. And we said, yeah, Jim Ryan doesn't know what he's talking about. He's not a gamer. He's just a businessman. But yet, here we are, right? <laughs> In a situation, come to the end of the year, when you, when you look at the summer parts, Sony have basically released, you know, some decent games this year. God of War, Horizon, GT7. You know, they've, they've had their problems, obviously, but they've been good quality games. I mean, you know, people have not complained about the quality and they've all reviewed well. Mm. They've had Stray, you know, uh, Sifu on the indie scene. They've, you know, they've locked in, obviously, certain exclusives. They've locked in, a, you know, a, a lot of things, yeah? Third party exclusives like, you know, with Square Enix and Final Fantasy, so that's coming. There's stuff like I think is it Stellar Blade that we saw, you know, um on one state of play. That looks that looks pretty good. But but all all these all, all these things that you're talking about is is the status quo of how they operate. Right. That's what I mean. Yeah. And I, I I I actually think that G, G, um, Jim Jim Ryan is Jim Ryan? Yeah, Jim Ryan. Um He's not done, done anything different to how they've done it before, <laughs> except yeah, keep quiet. Yeah, so that's, that's exactly it. That's all he's done that's different. Yeah. People will gauge me. People will judge me in my tenure as CEO of basically Sony Interactive Entertainment in how quiet I can be. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it's happened. It's like... There's still some publishers who don't talk about any games until they're ready as well. There are some that still do that. Yeah. I mean, from software, kind of like that, are they not? Like, yeah, yeah. For the games that Xbox have already showed, such as uh, Redfall uh, and Starfield, if, if you just park their uh, ability to deliver quality games on the time, the new timelines mm -hmm. that they're saying now, if you look at the remaining studios and what they've previously released on the previous generation and what they're likely to build going forward. I don't, and you look through all the studios that they own, which are quite a few, mm. I don't 
feel <laughs> that excited about a lot of the games they they mm. have made before or going to make is hence why they're, they're hence why they're buying Blizzard, right? It explains that because they know they don't have confidence themselves, mm. right? Well, it, it, you know, it it should be good, shouldn't it? But it, I just feel it's so many years away. I mean, like it's soft, yeah, Doom yeah. Eternal. You could you'd imagine they could do something. Um, the guys yeah. who did Wolfenstein, you could imagine they would do something. Yeah, Hellblade Two, you could imagine that could be good. Um, but some you know Gears for of some War, of these things, Gears, it's Gears of War. Um, yeah. It's but it just feels so far away. That's yeah, the, that's yeah, the problem. It does. It does. They've not. They've not. They've not shown that that much. Yeah. Of those things. They've so many CGI trailers and. Yeah, it, I, and I, th- I think that's the biggest problem with it. I mean, it, it all might change in January, February. I mean, February or whenever they decide to do this other showcase, and oh, we might be wowed. <laughs> you know what I mean? All that kind of stuff. But yeah, there's some but, there's some yeah. messed up things going on at the moment. I think you know, especially yeah. this Activision. You know, deal not going through, and you know, the lack of anything this mm. year is not good. The price hikes, which we kind of felt, or well, they felt at one point, or well, they communicated at one point, weren't going to happen. You know, more, more and more, yeah, it's going to happen. And and Sony are doing well without doing much. If you know what I mean, like you said, like they're just status quo. Yeah, I'll just I'll just kind of release some really substandard kind of like premium kind of like services. I'm okay with that. I I think of uh, we've got the last of a show coming out. Let's see yeah. how good that is. We've got Gran Turismo coming out the, this year. Let's see how good that is. You know, the Uncharted. I haven't seen it, but I didn't rate that highly, did it? Uh, no, it did. I mean, it, it. Well, I don't know if it rated that highly on Metacritic, but it. Did really well in the box office. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's really what it mattered. Okay, yeah, you know yeah. I mean? this is why it's becoming a franchise because it did really well in the box box yeah. office. In you know what I will say is that you know, it goes back to my point. I, 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 Sony shrewd. Sony are doing what they've always done, so that's that formula is still working. But in the background, I, I imagine them toiling away at this live service model mm-hmm. kind of strategy. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, they've gone deadly silent. They're not doing showcases. You know, um, PlayStation blog is having the time of its life at the moment. Because <laughs> it seems to be the de facto place to get really killer kind of PlayStation news. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, PSVR 2 looks like a, a really good product. And again, you know, feels low key. But any, for anybody that's tried it, they, yeah, it's a, it's a killer product. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think they're going to have the games. I just feel like they're going to be demo games Indies, again. Yeah, yeah. Need those games, right? I mean, it, yeah, they need those yeah. games. But as a piece of technology, you know, you can't argue with it. It's it's a good piece of technology. And God of War did pretty well. I mean, it's it's a cross gen game. But one thing you can say about Sony, they do release quality. There was no there was no is- issues with. You know, there were no technical issues as much as I not understand about it. It ran well on almost all the platforms, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they've they've kind of they kind of I, I don't know if I could say they they ended the, the year strongly, but they you know they just ended the the year and they've kind of like done enough. If you know what I mean. Yeah, I I also because the I think the actual actual hardware is better. I think the controller is better. I think the UI is better. I think there are games that have been slightly more better optimized on the PS5. Yeah. That come out in reviews. I think the for certain it has more niche games, fighting games, Japanese games on there, RPGs. I, I think it's still got more of a cool factor of just playstation <laughs> i think that the marketing's yeah. better i think the branding is better oh the marketing's easily better yeah i mean they're the, the, the marketing you know machine but even the designs of how they do their showcase videos are, i if you really step back from the probably the media controlled paid <laughs> <laughs> game pass is, is the best uh um, value in gaming crap that everyone's all the all these shields have been saying 
that we've we've also bought into ourselves. Yeah. I think they 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 it's. Well, that that's that's of, very true. That's very true. Yeah, there, there's very life. little else, isn't there, that you say like, yeah, that you could pin, you know, you pin your hopes on, really. And you know, it's 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 quite weird in in my view, yeah, because like, I kind of thought that Sony, you are in deep doo doo. That's what I but, thought as well. Yeah, but now I'm just thinking, I'm not sure you are in deep doo doo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Yeah, yeah. You're throwing doo doo over the other side of the fence. That's how it feels at the moment. Um, but they're, they're not actively doing it. They're just doing what they normally do, and, and, it, and it, it appears that they're, fi- they're firing doo doo by just doing what they normally mm. do. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. And um, I'm kind of wondering when you do show what you're actually really doing, and you kind of like present what could be a coherent strategy. What is that going to do? <laughs> if you know what I mean? Yeah. Because well, I. St- Still can't believe they're not gonna, you know, do this kind of like um, multi cross media sort of thing. That's definitely happening. Yeah, I, I just uh, a kind of a summary point for me at least is that inside gaming, outside gaming, 2022 or the, the years leading up to 22, up to the end of 2022, just shows me don't trust any of the marketing. And double check, and and don't get get over too hyped about what each of these platforms could be doing until you see the games, you play the games, or someone, even the reviews, I don't even trust anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's got that bad, right? Until you've actually mm. seen some some average YouTuber who's played it, or you've watched it on mm. Twitch, or you've played it yourself, then say, yeah. yeah Good game, tick to Sony. And, yeah, or tick exactly. To Xbox. And any pre-release reviews, day one release reviews, you Ooh, can shit. see you can see a oh, comparison yeah, yeah. to Metacritic every single time, right? Those those, it's just let's just you know, and you've now got so much options with Twitch and YouTube to wait and see. You, there's no need yeah. to come into the hype uh, of a pre-order. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, in twelve months' time, guys. I mean, back to that question. I I think, you know. If Activision, the Activision deal doesn't go through, if we don't see at least one or two really good games, right? I'm talking 10 out, 10 out of 10s, right? Yeah, I'm Straight talking... 10. Yeah, let's just... Straight it. 10. I, I want to see some big hits out of them, right? I mean, what's this money doing if it's not going to do that, right? Then I've got to say, I mean... Then really, you've got to say, I mean... What's what's the point? <laughs> what are you what are you what are you doing here? You know what I mean? It's because uh, you know you know it, it's all you know it's I'm almost a dick. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is. If they got six months, otherwise I'm getting rid of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the thing is, I, I would even offer I would even offer yeah. you money for it. But the thing is, I don't think I could even do even less on that than I could do anything else because there's nothing <laughs> on it. Yeah, there's nothing. It's, it's it, just yeah. a bit of plastic in the silicon. <laughs> I mean, that's it. You can do anything with it. I rang Smith's toy store, and no one had it in stock. And I got out of bed, didn't even brush my teeth, wash my face, drove the car, went to Smith's toy store, <laughs> and bought that Xbox, thinking, what a result! I've I've got it, and it's people aren't going to have it in stock for for another year or two. And there's all these games. Everyone's going to want to buy it. It's, the value of it's going to go up. How wrong was I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's not a lot, is there? They have, they have, they have to do something. They have to do something, or it's one of those things that I said a while back. A reason I would buy an Xbox is if they can get a deal with Steam. That's not gonna happen. How <laughs> <laughs> that is not gonna happen? I can, I can, I can tell you. Steam, Steam will drag itself down by having them on. Yeah, it, that think. is not gonna. Be, ultimately, you know, they're competitors at a certain level. That isn't gonna happen. Yeah, got to get some games out. We've got to come to a conclusion with this Activision deal. Yeah. And you're right. If Activision doesn't happen, they're likely going to go after something else. And I think it, it has to be a kind of a, a publisher, developer, who do kind of more annual content, frequent content is what they need. Yeah. And as for PlayStation, yeah, the silence is helping them. <laughs> From what I can see, yeah, it's keep silent, yeah. But I just, you know, I'm thinking, 
you're right, Jay. They, they're in a, they, they're in, they're in a holding pattern at the moment. The status quo would do what we're going to do, but when it when it comes to the multimedia side of things, when it comes to, I think, live service, we might actually see the next phase or iteration of what's going to happen. And that might be quite interesting. In which case, I always maintain that they're not even going to care about Game Pass when it happens. You know, they're operating on a different model. I actually would rather, as a game, selfishly, I would rather pay Sony or Xbox uh, more money to, to if the quality, if that means they make more money and justifies them make, putting out more quality and sticking in the current model. Mm. Uh, you know, change for the sake of change. You know, like, you know, I ch um, what do you call it? Apple Music, that kind of model of Spotify, I think has improved pr improved the uh, experience as a, as a music mm. listener. Just a choice. It works. Yeah, you, you mm. spend more money than you would before buying stuff for most people, but it works as, you know, Netflix and that shows and TV shows and movies. I think that model is is not panning out that well. The quality has dropped versus movie releases in cinema and the quality of TV shows. There are good stuff in there, obviously, but I think it's getting worse. I think it's the level of curation you need. Stuff like that. Yeah, and, and it's, it's, it's not yeah, sustainable. Yeah, it's a sustainable part. That's the problem, isn't it, really? Yep. Yep. Uh, and I think for games, some of, the, some of the original predictions, I think, will end up coming true, which is the model doesn't work for games because it needs increasing increasing more amounts of investment and you need that pressure of in order to sell my next game it has to be really good quality quality tested it has to have creative new ideas it has to push the genre forward versus oh we're getting the money on on a subscription we'll just do something mediocre and quick get it out of the door yeah and, and no gamer can possibly consume all of that and once they realize that what's going to happen then yeah, why are we making this kind of sort of investment? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, because like, like watching a TV show and movie, you don't really watch it again. You know, games have got some replay value, but, you know, with hundreds of games at your spot, I mean, it's, it's you know, God, how are you going to do that? But in saying all of this, guys, I think, you know, the next year is going to be obviously very interesting for these, you know, for both Xbox and PlayStation. And I will say that, you know, let these guys fight. And fanboys, you are out of a job now. Because <laughs> these guys are going to fight without you. <laughs> and that's the only, that's one bright spot that I can see coming out of all of this. Well, it's a, a one-sided fight. Yeah, anyway, it does feel like that at the moment. But it, it does swing around, around, doesn't it, at the end of the day. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, guys, with uh, that said, let's move on to the next topic.